Hi, this is Mark Meyer from MarTech Hero. And in this quick video, we're gonna learn how you could report on AI traffic in Google Analytics 4. So this includes reporting on things like ChatGPT, Perplexity, Gemini, uh, Claude, Copilot, and others. So being able to see this info is very useful since it means you could see how many people find your website using AI and which pages they are landing on and if the traffic is engaged in driving conversions. We're gonna go through two ways to set this up in Google Analytics. First, we're gonna create a dedicated channel group to use in this report and then also look at ways to report on AI traffic using filters. Okay, we're on a Google Analytics account of mine and we're gonna begin by showing how you could use filters in exploration reports and standard reports to view the AI traffic. Okay, so on this screen, we're just gonna navigate over to Explore, and then we're gonna to select to create a new exploration report here by clicking the plus. We'll name this report, we'll just call it AI Traffic. Next, we're gonna click this plus sign next where it says Dimensions. And we're going to search for session source and select that. And after it's selected, we'll click, click confirm. Next, we're going to add metrics to this report. So we're going to click the plus button right here. And we're going to search for sessions. And then also engagement rate. We're going to select that box as well. And then active users. And now we're going to hit the confirm button. So now we have this dimension in the metrics here and we want to add them to the report. So we're going to do that by just double clicking on each of these. So double click on the session source and then each of the metrics, double click on them. We now can see all the sources that people use to find our website, but we only want to see our AI traffic. So over here in the second column, we're gonna scroll down all the way down to where it says filters, and we're gonna click on this uh, drop or select dimension or metric under the filters, and we're gonna select session source. And then for conditions, we're gonna select matches regex, and I'm gonna paste in a regular expression that I have, and I'll put this in the comment section or the description of this video as well. And we're gonna hit apply. We can now see the AI traffic in our exploration report. So we can see the ChatGPT, Copilot, and so on and so forth, and how many sessions each of those models is sending to our website. Now let's look at how we could do similar steps to a standard report to see the same traffic. So let's go up here to reports. And over here on the left, if you see something that says library, it means you have the correct access to do this. If you don't see this, you just need to touch base with someone who could give you that access that's on your team. So I'm gonna select library. And on this page, I'm gonna select create new report. And I'm gonna select the create detail report. And then it gives them some templates to choose from. We're going to look for traffic acquisition. Traffic acquisition right here. We're going to select that. Now over here on the right menu side, we're going to select dimensions. And we're going to select session source. And we're going to click this set as default. And then we're going to click apply. Next, we're gonna click on the add filter and we're gonna search for session source. And we're gonna select that. For, for match type, we're gonna select matches regex again. And once again, we're just gonna paste in the regular expression that we did on that prior step. and then we're gonna select the button that says apply. We can now add this to our reporting menu so you could apply filters to standard reports and exploration reports 
to view your AI traffic. Then I could save this report if I so wish. I'll just call it AI report. Besides doing this, you can also set up a custom channel group that includes all your AI traffic. So I'm going to go back to this main screen here, and I'm going to scroll down over here in the left and click admin. Next, I'm going to select data display. Then I'm going to select channel groups. Here we can see our default channel groups that were created already. So over here where it says default channel group, you'll see these three dots. We're going to click on those three dots and we're going to select copy to create new. So we're copying this default one. We'll name this new channel default and AI and then select add new channel for channel name. Let's name it AI chatbots and click the add condition group. And for the new condition, we're going to select source and then we're going to click on where it says add a condition. And we're going to select matches regex. And like we did last time, we're going to paste in that regular expression once again here and hit apply. We're then going to hit save channel. Next, we have a step that we have to make sure we do for this to all work. We need to make sure that the new AI chatbots channel that we just created comes before the referrals channel. Uh, if you don't do this, then the AI traffic will continue to be classified as referral traffic. So to do this, we click this reorder button. And then we go down here to our new AI chatbots and we have to move this above the referral. And then we're going to hit apply. And then we're going to make sure we save the channel group. And there's our new group. We can now use this channel group to see all the AI traffic grouped together at a top level. So you'll be able to find this channel in the standard reports and also the exploration reports. So let's go back to reports. And then we're going to select acquisition. And then traffic acquisition. We can now select the default dimension above the table and change this to our new channel. So we're going to select this and we're going to select session default and AI, which we just created. And now you'll see that we have the AI chatbots information showing up on this report as well. And that's all there is to this. Uh, give this a try and let me know how it goes or if you have any questions. And thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.